Hello, my name is Gollywog, and today is uh, it's kind of an interesting day. I just it's not um too too big, but I did find a wee glitch, and I'm not sure if there's actually a way to um get this to happen. I would try to do it. Uh, we're in kind of a full lobby right now, but yeah, this is the city map as well. City of Stickmon. Anyway, what I was doing was I was flying around getting rid of all the water in these village farms. And then I noticed uh I got rid of all all of this water. And then I noticed this appeared. So that's kinda cool. It's like puddles in Minecraft. So I wanted to know if there's a way we could actually make this happen. And uh Oh no. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to make this happen again. Okay, so the people in the party are really inappropriate right now. You don't understand what they're saying. I've muted myself so they don't know what I'm saying, but um, yeah, no, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that was cool to show with you. Um, yeah, let's head back to the city now. See if there's anything we can do there. Uh, actually, in Chinatown, we've got. Well, we finally have a new company. It is Sharp Industries. And I think that's kind of cool. They've. I have to turn my volume down. Uh, it's. Oh, what if you guys heard what they were saying? If you heard what those guys were saying earlier, that's. I don't know if I'll be able to edit it out because I don't know how to edit. Oh well. Oh well. I'll just turn my volume down all the way. So anyway, yeah, let's head to Chinatown because there's a new company, and I would not consider it competition at all, but it's definitely a good company to have around because they um, they offer security, which is a good thing. I think they're going to be doing insurance. They've got a construction company as well. Um, yeah, they're, they, they're not competing with me, though, uh, which I like. You can see it off in the distance. I'll go back into my floating around mode, not floating around, my regular walking mode. It's right there. Um, so let's have a quick look at it. So it's it's empty yet for the time being, but uh, yeah, we built it just today. And um, sides aren't done. But let's have a quick look inside. Actually, as a matter of... Oh, no, no, no. We had a prisoner. I was going to show you who he was, but he uh, he escaped. Anyway, so these are this is what every floor looks like at the moment. We will be putting... Off, well, I won't be, but Sharp Kills will be putting offices in. He is the head of this company, Sharp Industries. And, yeah, I think he might be pretty successful on it. He's already hired a few people. He pays people out of his own pocket and stuff. And um, I think he's already got some business as well. And he only started today, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got this thing going on. If you have a good... If you've played in the city before... I have to give people privileges. He's already got privileges. If you... Oh, is my game frozen? If you um are able to... If you play in the game and you can create a company that will hire other people and you'll be able to pay them and be self-sufficient. The Stickmon Tower, my company, will give you about... Well, they'll give you a loan of whatever you want as long as you pay it back. And then there's another thing, which is called Prize, and it's... um Things are spelt wrong. Anyway, times are tough. You want a job, we need your help. If you can come up with a good way, the city can employ people that have just spawned, so like people that just come into the world and aren't registered or anything. Uh, if we use your idea, you will win $300. You can submit your idea to the host via message. And then there's another uh, thing called idea. That's the one I was just telling you about. I'll read it out to you. The game's a bit laggy right now. We need people to start businesses that will help to employ others. If you can come up with a good business idea, the Stickmon Tower will loan you some money to start your business. Submit your idea to the host today.
So uh, another quick thing I just want to say is uh, if you end up joining this world, or if you played in this world before, you probably know or are about to find out. I do not give out creative, and I do not give out flying. This is a role play city where we um, we do role play, and yeah, it's, I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible. Keep it like real life. So like no end chests, no bedrock. No creative or teleporting. I'm the only person who uses creative because right now the city cannot isn't very stable. We've finally got a wheat farm. So if you look on my active feed, you'll s oh that's the prison uh, prisoner. If you see the active feed on my thing, you'll see some pictures of the farm. But it's only wheat, and we've got a wheat factory where we convert the wheat into bread. Um, yeah, a bunch of people want to get teleported right now, but I can't really understand where. Because I'm not really listening to them. I'm trying to talk to you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So just try to act like a normal human in real life. Like, you spawn in. When you spawn in, you go over here. Push the button. Open this chest. Put your map in. Looks like it didn't work for this person. Then goods will come out. If they don't come out, call me over. And I'll just give you your guidebook and also your $10. Anyway, I think that's it. I, I might have to do a video one day explaining uh, how to get started because people don't really want to read all the signs and stuff. And there's also a glitch. Uh, if you die or something, the signs just turn blank for you. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't much, but it was definitely something. So thank you for um, watching. And I hope...